Today I want to make a video all about epic potential. How to get it, how to get epic potential scrolls, how to get potential scrolls in general. And this is going to be specifically for the reboot server. I just started playing MapleStory again after a long break and um, I decided to make a character and play in reboot. So the first place that you're going to be able to get these scrolls is going to be the awakening event um, that's running right now, but it's basically any event. So any event that runs now or a month from now is going to probably give you an opportunity to grind out your dailies for the event and get yourself an epic potential or in some cases even a unique potential scroll for your gear. Pretty easy. Um, the other one's daily gifts. So that's every day you can kill 300 enemies your level and get items. If you're consistent with it, I think 20 some days in this month you'll be able to get an epic potential scroll as well. So with those daily events and monthly events out of the way, let's get down to a few other things I realized as I was playing. So you're going to get a lot of gear to drop. Um, there was places where I was farming, I was grinding, and I was getting a ton of stuff dropping with rare potential. But every once in a while you're going to get something that drops with epic potential. Now, most people, well, me, <laughs> at least as far as I know, I would take these epic potential low gear or bad gear items and I just wouldn't really do anything with them. Maybe, maybe trash them, drop them, whatever. I didn't realize that you can take any epic potential item and there is, there possibly might be a way to upgrade that to relevant gear. So you can transfer over that epic potential 10 levels at a time. So if it's a 70 piece that drops level 70 and it's epic you can save it and then move that up to a level 80 piece of gear and keep doing this until you get the epic potential onto an item um, whether it's worth it or not or whether the item can even do it that you're gonna have to decide on your own and take a look at your gear but just be mindful of the fact that some of these epic potential drops they're super rare but when you do get them you can transfer them up and you can move them to other pieces of gear um, the other thing is 70% potential scrolls will drop. It's super rare. I would compare it to probably chaos scrolls in like old school Maple Story, where just every once in a while you'll be killing something and one will fall out. Um, but they do exist. And I noticed that higher levels, usually after 140, I was getting them frequently. Um, here they dropped in uh, U Garden. And the other thing, too, I haven't had it happen, but harvesting. Supposedly when you're harvesting nodes, there's a super rare chance that a potential scroll will pop out with the materials. Um, I've seen it. I haven't had it happen personally yet though. Um, most of us are going to be doing daily grinding and U Garden is the place to be. These are the easiest way to get that 30 coins. You get 30 U Garden coins and that's going to give you an epic potential scroll. I think they're 50%. Um, you can see here, this is where you would do the quest. And this is after just doing normal quests. It starts with a police officer in the beginning of town. And you'll see it in your, you know, um, your light bulb there to check for it. And start that, finish that. And then you'll be able to eventually have access to this board where you can do the quest. But the problem is, if you've noticed, it's bugged right now. So when you get these coins the black market that pops up randomly isn't popping up anymore. Um, but there is a fix for this and I'm going to talk about that in a, in a few seconds. Um, the other daily grind is Lionheart Castle or Von Leon's Castle, whatever it is. There's the Rose Garden. So you can see these Rose Garden boxes that you get for doing the daily gardening quest. They have a chance to drop it. Um, pretty decent. I haven't got one yet from there, but I've had numerous people tell me that that's a good source for um, epic potential scrolls as well. Um, I think the next thing would probably be killing Ursus, um, the bear, like the that everybody does for money, everybody does for cube money, basically. Um, those materials will build up over time, the drops, and you'll be able to go to the little market um, NPC and buy epic potentials there as well. It's also pretty grindy and you're gonna have to stay consistent, just like everything else in MapleStory. The other thing I wanna talk about is Legion. 
um, if you have the characters, if you're doing Legion, you could do the daily quest and get, I think it's like 30 coins or something like that. Um, at 140 coins, I believe, you'll be able to also buy epic potentials from Legion, from the Legion NPCs. Another good source. This right here is um, Commercy. So at level 140 to 150, you can do the Commercy quest. It'll pop up in your little light bulb thingy. And you'll run through it. It wasn't too bad. I think I did it in like 30, 40 minutes. But this is a guaranteed 100% epic potential scroll. As you can see on screen. That's awesome. Um, that's absolutely awesome. And it's the sure thing. You just got to do the quest. So put this on an item that you're going to keep. Preferably something you're not going to upgrade in a week or two or a month. Keep that in mind. Um, I think that covers most of the spots. Um, I know there's like Mulung Dojo, which looked like it took forever, so I didn't bother with that. Um, there's a few others, but basically it's going to be these three or four that I mentioned, with U Garden being the best way to get epic potential scrolls. Um, I'm in Reboot, I'm not going to speak for another server because this is all I've been playing recently, so it's all I know. And the thing with U Garden is, there's good news. The black market in U Garden will be back. Um, if we look at the patch notes here for an upcoming patch on Tuesday the 19th, they are fixing the problem with U Garden. So it should appear regularly after that. I'm not sure what the hours are. Um, I'll look it up and I'll add it into the video. But this patch right here is gonna fix that whole issue and it's going to allow the black market to once again appear. So you want to get out there and do those dailies in U-Garden, get those coins. I think every 30 coins, you can buy an epic potential scroll. Um, I think you get like 26 a day, I want to say. But that's pretty much it. So get in there, get those U-Garden coins, do some of the other things we talked about in this video, and um, hopefully you get out there and get your gear potentialed. Thanks for watching, guys.